the Community Agriculture Infrastructure Improvement Program Phase 3 will cater for 31 districts. This time round, the project has identified 22 districts in the Western Region, 2 in Central Region, 3 in Northern Uganda, and 4 in the Eastern Region. It is intended to rehabilitate and construct 3,740 kilometers of community access roads, construct 68 markets and 68 maize meters. So the purpose of this project really is for the ministry and government support districts to execute their mandate of constructing district roads under the law. Now, can we try to boost production? Can this infrastructure be of the benefit of the people in improving the actual production at home? One, in form of irrigation, in form of provision of things like tractors. Of all the money government has borrowed, and especially to uplift infrastructure in the rural areas, Kayib has done a wonderful job. Uh, like now in the rainy season, you find the central government roads in very bad shape, and then you find a hidden, beautiful, <laughs> narrow roads. The money will be borrowed from the African Development Bank and the Islamic Development Bank. The rural roads infrastructure project is expected to increase household incomes by 20% as they will be able to transport their agricultural produce to markets. Government had earlier borrowed over 600 billion shillings for phase one and two of the same project, which has been used in various districts in the country. However, the taxpayer will have to grapple with the repayment of the loans for 50 years. The continued government request to borrow money increases Uganda debt burden. For instance, this loan request will raise Uganda's debt burden to 4.8 billion US dollars. The minister also informed the Parliamentary Committee on the National Economy that government has procured road equipment from China that will be used by districts to renovate roads. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.